Hello, future pioneers. Uh, congratulations on your acceptance to William Patterson University. Uh, my name is Rebecca Baird, uh, but everybody calls me Becky. And I serve as the Director of Residence Life here at William Patterson. I have worked here for about 15 years. And so this is a community that I love dearly. I wanted to spend a little time talking to you today uh, about what it's like to live on campus, uh, what um, is important to us here at William Patterson for our students as it relates to the residential experience. And so the purpose of this presentation is just to share uh, a little bit more uh, information about you with you about what it's like to live on campus. Um, I want to recognize that there are many uncertain aspects uh, about what to expect on campus and in our world and the state of New Jersey. Uh, but we're optimistic and we're hoping uh, and planning for uh, housing for the fall. So I hope that wherever you are viewing this video from, that you are safe and healthy and that we get a chance uh, to meet and interact with you soon. Please know and understand um, that our team is here to help. So if uh, after reviewing this video, your questions haven't yet been answered, Please do not hesitate to reach out. At the end of the presentation, I will share all of the avenues for getting in touch with our great team, and we would be more than happy to help walk you through any part of the process or answer any additional questions that you may have. So I'm gonna share my screen. Um, give me just a second to do that um, so that we can start to walk through the presentation. Okay. So hopefully you can see um, my screen and I'm just going to take a few minutes uh, to talk to you about some information about living on campus. So most importantly, I want to start with what we think are the benefits here um, about living on campus. Being somewhere that you will be able to truly be immersed um, in our community and all the things that William Patterson has to offer has to be one of the best benefits of living here on our campus. Transitioning to college is hard and our team is here to help with that transition. We focus on providing academic support um, and personal support to all of our students to make sure that you have um, a safe um, and positive experience here on our campus. Uh, for many of you, this will be the first time that you are going to be living independently, which comes with all sorts of fun challenges uh, and decisions that you'll have to make along the way. So when we talk to our students about why they wanna live here, uh, it's always about relationships. Unanimous, unanimously, students say it's about living here and making connections with uh, diverse people. So living on campus provides you access to a community rich in diversity um, and opportunity. Uh, our number one goal as a department is to make sure that we provide students a place to live in which they feel safe and comfortable. And so all of our halls have staff who are well trained and here to help you. We are here 24 seven. When you're here, we're here. In addition, we have security in all of our halls to make sure um, that our buildings are always safe um, for our students. We look to provide students many amenities here within our halls and on campus. We know that amenities are really important to students and can sort of um, really impact the living experience. So in all of our residence halls, we provide air conditioning and Wi-Fi. Uh, we have streaming TV um, for that downtime when you don't need to be, to be studying or working on projects. Um, we have laundry uh, rooms in all of our buildings and our laundry is free, just so you know. Uh, we even have a cool app for our laundry in all of our halls uh, where students can download the app and get a text when their laundry is done um, or find out what machines are open before having to walk down. So just make sure you learn how to do your laundry before coming. So not only is it safe and comfortable here, um, but there are a lot of opportunities for our students to engage and develop themselves personally. Whether it's attending a, an athletic event or a club program, 
maybe going to see a performance in Shea or taking a walk um, through High Mountain, our staff looks to provide a variety of opportunities that help students um, interact and engage on campus. There are tons of active clubs and organizations that are here to provide programs um, to all of our students, but really do try to cater to the residential population to make sure that they're feeling um, as though there are things to do um, and fun to be had while they're here on campus. Residence Life has created some rich partnerships um, here on campus um, to help support our students uh, and help them be successful. Some of our strongest partners are Counseling Health and Wellness, Campus Activities and Student Leadership, uh, Physical Plan Operations, Academic Support and Development, as well as Dining Services. Our team understands that as residential students, we here in Residence Life, we need to be prepared um, to help you with any aspect of your student experience. And our staff here is well trained uh, to make sure that we can do that and provide uh, the resources and the support that you need uh, to have a positive and a productive experience here on campus. I want to talk to you a little bit about what our community values are here at William Patterson. What you see in front of you is um, an effort of our staff and students working together to identify what we would call some foundations that we want all of our students to understand, um, acknowledge, um, and most importantly, sort of embody during their time here on campus. We, we want our communities um, to be actively demonstrating that the residents within them care for one another, that they treat each other with respect. Uh, we will challenge our students to actively participate and engage with each other because this is what creates a positive residential experience for students. We work with students to make sure that they're open um, to and accepting of other perspectives um, that are different from their own. While we know that that can be challenging, um, it is critical, um, especially to the residential and the roommate relationship, right? We're going to have different perspectives on things. And so it's really important um, to make sure that we're open-minded um, and that we're willing to compromise and learn and think, think about things from perspectives other than our own. It's extremely important that our students work to take responsibility for their actions and understand the role that they play in the importance of keeping our communities safe. We hope that our students learn new things um, during their time on campus and that they have a great time um, within the residence halls while they're here. So let's talk a little bit about um, the halls on campus. So we have 10 residence halls um, here at William Patterson. Our residence halls currently are cohorted um, sort of by, by class year. Our first year and our new students sort of live together in certain halls and then our upper class students um, live in the other buildings. Uh, you can see on your screen the, uh, just some basic information uh, about our campus um, and the buildings. We think it's important to help you familiarize um, yourself with just the names of our different communities and um, who they serve. You can definitely find more information about all of these communities on our website, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview so that you had a basic understanding of, of what housing looks like um, here at William Patterson. So, to start uh, talking about our new residence halls on campus, our new student residence halls on campus, um, those are High Mountain East, High Mountain West, and Overlook South. In those three residence halls, um, they all feature uh, suite style rooms. And here at William Patterson, what we mean by a suite style is two rooms that are joined internally by a bathroom. So no need to walk down the hallway in your robe and your shower shoes. Um, your bathroom is semi-private, just kept internally within your suite. In High Mountain East and West, uh, those buildings feature both double and triple occupancy rooms um, that students are assigned to. And in Overlook South, that building features mostly double rooms, uh, but there are some ADA singles, um, accommodation singles in that building as well. So we have uh, also our upper class residence halls uh, for transfer students, as well as our continuing students here at William Patterson. Those buildings are Century, Hillside, Madelson, Skyline, and Whitehall. So all of our buildings feature suite style, but Skyline, which is our new residence hall, just opened this fall. We're really proud and excited to have a new building on our campus. 
um, the students who live there had a great experience this past year. That building features a updated suite style. So those um, suites are just a little different. When you enter there, uh, it is sort of a small foyer and all three rooms are standalone rooms. So the two bedrooms and the bathroom are standalone spaces. The bathroom doesn't connect the two bedrooms. So in Century and Hillside, uh, they're mostly double rooms, but they do have some triple rooms um, available to students as well. New this year um, for the fall, Madelson is transitioning for our upper class students to a single occupancy uh, residence hall. Uh, this is to respond to our students' uh, desire to have more single spaces available for them on campus. Our new hall skyline features all double rooms, double occupancy rooms in that building. And then White Hall is sort of one of our more unique communities here on campus. White Hall features both single and double rooms, uh, but we also have our grad student population, uh, which is housed in White Hall uh, in grad singles. Uh, and then we have other, both other single and doc, uh, double occupancy rooms. In our apartment buildings, uh, which are Pioneer and Heritage Hall, we feature two bedroom apartments, um, which have two students per each bedroom. And then they also come with a living room, which has a kitchenette, um, a full bathroom, and a storage area. So those are the 10 residence halls um, that we feature here on campus. In our apartments, um, students do have to be 20 years um, or older to live in those communities. So if you are a transfer or maybe a non-traditional student um, and the apartment style living would be your preference, that would be something that you could indicate to our department on your housing application, um, which I'll tell you a little bit more about in just a few seconds. And just let us know and we'll do our best to provide that accommodation for you based upon availability. So let's, talk a little bit about community development and sort of the pillars um, in which our team works from to provide um, a positive experience for our students. So the first pillar that we work from is about health and safety. This is where we wanna make sure that our staff is present in the halls um, to make sure that everything is going as it needs. If something happens, we are there to help. Um, we want to make sure that when conflicts arise, because they do, um, that's normal. When you live in tight quarters with people, sometimes you're going to disagree. So that's just part of the process. Uh, but our team is there to help. We're going to help you get through those um, situations. We're going to respond when something goes wrong. That's what we mean by building management. So things could happen, right? Lights could go out. Um, you could get locked out of your room. Uh, your sink maybe is going to clog. Our team is there to help. We are there to connect you to the resources or solve problems um, with and for you as they arise. Uh, the second pillar of our community development is about cultivating relationships. And this is mainly where our RA staff comes in. Um, RAs are our peers, they're upper class students who have been trained to help you um, in a variety of ways. And one of the things they focus on the most is about helping students connect with each other um, and connect to their communities. The RA will start by focusing on individual interactions with all of their residents. And then as they get to know their residents a little bit more, they're gonna help residents connect with each other. Um, help them find common ground, common interests, uh, maybe connect them by majors. This is where they're gonna help them work to get connected. Um, when you feel a sense of belonging, you often feel much more positive about your experience. Um, and that's what we're looking for, for our students. Our last pillar is about programming. We want to provide things for you to do. Um, so we will have building social events. Uh, civic engagement is something that's very important to the community here at William Patterson and Residence Life works hard to do our part to make sure that we're providing opportunities and partnering with campus activities and student leadership to provide opportunities for civic engagement, not only on campus, but off campus as well. This is an extremely important part of, of the learning and growth and development process of our college students. And we look to uh, give those experiences as well to our residential students. We also host a variety of different skill workshops whether it's related to academic success, time management, stress management, relationships, decision-making, all of the things that come with being a college student, 
we're going to try to provide different workshops uh, for students to learn and grow and develop, um, all while having a good time within our community. So these are the things that are really important to us um, and ways that we help um, our students connect. You kind of see a picture here um, of some past events in one of our residence halls. Um, it's not exactly social distancing, so in this new world, I don't think we could get away with it, but hopefully, um, as soon as it's safe and comfortable, uh, you know, safe and permissible for our students, we'll, we'll be able to gather in our community spaces again and, um, you know, spend time um, reconnecting with each other. So hopefully you're interested in living on campus. Um, so here is a little bit more information on how to apply. So there's two steps to the application process. One is the housing application, which you complete through Res Center in WP Connect. Hopefully you know how to get into WP Connect. This is where you can access your email, your registration, your bills as a student. So under your student tab, um, under Campus Life or Student Life, there's a Res Center tab, um, a Residence Life tab, and that's where you would click to complete your housing application. Uh, in just a minute, I'll show you on our web a direct link to um, where this is located on our website. The second piece is about $150 housing deposit. That is completed online through TouchNet. And as a student, once you do both of those pieces, you are now connected to us. Uh, we will process the application and deposit, and that will start the communication chain. Once you do both of those pieces, then you will have access to be able to provide us some more information about what you're looking for or what you need from your living experience. We work to uh, provide housing accommodations for students that have a particular need. We work very closely with our Accessibility Resource Center to make sure that our students uh, provide whatever it is that they need to provide so that we can look to provide the accommodations so that they can have a positive experience here on campus. In addition, uh, we ask students for some preferences. This is where you can put in a building preference, you can indicate roommate preferences, perhaps you know somebody that's coming to William Patterson too that you'd like to live with. Uh, your meal plan preferences can be entered um, into your contract and stuff through Res Center once we, once we process everything. So once you do those first two steps, the communication will be ongoing with our team uh, as we approach the fall. I want to show you um, our website. So I'm going to try and switch screens and go to our website. So hopefully you can see, um, this is the Residence Life um, website on um, the WPUNJ uh, page. We think this is a great place for you to get connected and stay connected to uh, have information about living on campus. The first tab right here at the top is important dates and information. This is where we will be continuing to add information. Um, this is where you'll see the most relevant um, and time sensitive information. This is our attempt at trying to provide sort of a one stop about what's most important um, going on in, in the residential community right now. So as you can see, as I scroll through here, there's information about housing availability and room selection. Um, for our students that are still currently on campus, there's a little bit of information about spring closing. Down at the bottom, we feature some frequently asked questions. We will continue to update this with questions as we continue to receive questions from students. This is our best place to try to provide that information. So we're referring students to our website um, as we feel as though this is a great place to access um, information. The second tab down here is the really important tab uh, as far as applying for housing. So on this tab, it walks you through everything that you need to do to live on campus. So how to access the housing application, how to submit your deposit. And then there's some more information about assignments and preferences. Um, RoomSync, which is our roommate matching app. That information um, is here and in the portal. There is some information about the housing assignment timeline, but please understand that this information can and will continue to change. Um, we are uncertain about what's to come. Uh, we're doing our best to plan and move forward, and we will continue to share information with our community as we can through as many avenues as we can to keep people informed um, as 
decisions continue to be made about what uh, campus and housing is going to look like definitively for the fall. You can also click through some of our other tabs as a perspective or a new student. We try to provide some different information about our residence halls. This is where there's more details uh, about our halls. Here you can see some pictures and, and some floor plans. Um, and so this is uh, just a great resource for you to come and learn a little bit more about what it's like to live on campus. So whether um, You know, whether, you've, whether this is the first time you're hearing this or you've already done your housing application and deposit, um, please know that we are so excited to have you join our community. Uh, we hope that we get to interact with you soon. I hope that you learned a little bit more from our pre my presentation today. Um, know that our team is here to help and answer any questions. I'm just gonna switch back to um, the presentation real fast because the last slide is just about being um, in touch with us. So the best ways to get in touch with us are right here on this page for you. We are not in the office as we're working remotely right now, um, but you can call our office and leave a message. We are checking our voicemail regularly here on campus. The best way to probably get in touch with us if you have any specific questions would be to email us at at home at wpunj.edu. Our team is monitoring this email address and we will respond and connect with you and help, with, help you in any way that we can. Again, visit us on the web and then you can also see um, where the best places to connect with us on social media are. So we have a department page on Facebook, we have a Twitter account, we have Instagram. We know that many of you are already interacting on the class pages. Uh, we continue to do, uh, encourage you to do that, um, get to know each other, find roommates. Um, all of those, those resources are there and available to you. Um, I hope that um, you continue to stay safe and healthy during this time. Um, and that we get to um, see you here on campus soon. Should you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, I hope you have a great day. Take care.